In times of drought, like we were in, the city started having to restrict what people were able to use, and that's when it really got tough on us because people stopped irrigating their yards and stopped watering their gardens. When that happened, they just, of course, stopped buying plants from us and fertilizer from us. Then the fact that we were going to be restricted on what water we could use was really gonna hurt us because we couldn't take care of what we had in stock. That's when we decided to work on making a water recovery system and we were able to collect rainwater and recycle water that we used uh, from the city. We were fortunate in that we had an asphalt parking lot to start with, so most of the water collects on the asphalt and we dug out one, one collection basin uh, about six inches below where the drain level was and installed a pump there which pumps back up to a couple of collection tanks and it spills from one to another and reduces the sediment. Then goes through a filter and then back into our two 1,000 gallon tanks where the water naturally drained out to the street at the front of our property, we dug two uh, basins and installed two pumps there, and we retrieve water from the front of our property back to the same pumps. We have a jet pump that pumps water out of those pumps into these Rainbird sprinkler heads. As it falls down onto the asphalt, it washes back down into our collection basins and back up into the tanks. As we repeated that process, we started struggling with a fungus problem in the plants because we were gathering what was on the ground and then that was multiplying and then we were gathering it again and that caused problems with the plant. So we basically had to start capturing once then using fresh water once, but that still cut our water usage in half. And uh, at some point we hope to remedy that problem where we can get back to using all of the water.